So we're going to start making uh, this character from scratch. And uh, I'm going to just start from the very beginning. I'm going to go to my home screen and I'm going to go and say create new. And let's go and go to character animation tab. Choose our, this HD preset is just fine. I want to make sure my frame rate is set at 24. Yours may be at 30, which uh, is a video native frame rate. 24 it comes from film and the quality of timing and the associated sort of weight and mass that goes with us. This frame rate is a little more natural for animators, so I'm going to always work at 24. Your platform type will probably be ActionScript 3.0. That's fine. Uh, we're not going to get into scripting early in this tutorial, but there are benefits for using ActionScript whenever it comes time to synchronize sound. Uh, we're not going to worry about it right now. So I'll just say Create. And I get a blank canvas with nothing in it. So I, I'm going to bring in my design so I have something to work from. So let me go ahead and import to the stage. And I actually have a little PNG, which is, in my case, it's just a screen grab. It's just a flat image from you know, this other file. But for you, it may be in a design you did in Photoshop or whatever, a sketch you made in a, a scan, drawing you scanned it or something. So this, can be a this will be my reference. I'm going to label this reference. I'm going to lock it so I don't um, nudge it around or anything. So uh, I want to, before I begin, I want since my palette is already kind of, the colors I'm going to use are already sort of here, I'm going to add them to my swatches. I'm going to turn my swatches off uh, a little bit here just so I can see what I'm looking at. And I'm just going to add them in to my palette here, just my eyedropper. So there's the blue, I'm going to grab the orange, pale blue, pale orange. Uh, can I get this kind of pale? It's not picking that up. Let's get it. I know it's actually it's this here. It's that gray. I can just add it down here at the bottom. And then I know that his, this is that dark gray. And then, oh, we need a little green for the hat. There we go. So that's enough to get me started. I'm going to dock that back up in there now. There. Okay. So I'm going to make a new layer. I should probably save this too. We'll call this cat. What do we call this? Character build. So one, okay. So uh, one thing I want to do uh, is I mentioned you know I'm going to be building out of all these parts. I'm just going to rebuild this, and uh, all of these parts you can kind of identify, um, except for this is not really evident what that is, and uh, this is kind of my most important thing for when I'm building a character. This is where uh, you don't really see it visibly. Uh, in the design where he's walking. But like if I want to go back in here and I make this outline, everywhere you have a circle here on these joints, that is built around this shape of the circle with the crosshairs. And the reason for that is that, uh, well, I'll just build it and show you. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to build that first. Let's be my little joint widget tool. So let's call this my joint widget. And it's, all it is is a circle with uh, crosshairs in it. So let me go ahead and grab uh, blue and no stroke. And I'm just going to draw that. I think my snapping is on. I don't want it on right now. Let me zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to make my station a little bit darker just because I'm working with a lighter color. There we go. All right. So I have a circle here. I'm going to uh, also draw some lines and I'm going to kind of center them all together. And I'm going to set my stroke to this white and then it's going to be hard to know if these are lined up exactly centered. And even if I use the align tool, uh, I think I may be out of luck because once I, yeah, if you're, if you're familiar with like shape drawing, once you have shapes that overlap each other, they kind of flatten down in a way, and uh, I can't I can't actually center this to anything. I don't think this is going to work. All right, there's nothing. It just treats as one image. So in order to avoid having that happen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up a little bit, and I'm going to redraw these, but on the outside. And I guess this would be a good time to have alignment on, just in case. Uh, 
can work. If it will or not. But what I want to do is I want to keep these separate. So I'm going to group them. Just control G, we'll group them. So if they're grouped and they overlap, they're no longer going to uh, flatten down on each other. And by the way, I make my I set my group to be the the gizmo for the group. I set it to be red. I think animate traditionally makes it kind of bluish, like the same color as a symbol. I think it's like something like this maybe. Uh, I just set mine to red right away because uh, it's really important for me when I get an animation that I know the distinction between my groups and symbols. Because when I get into animating, I only want to deal with symbols. I don't want to deal with groups at all. Uh, Tweening groups doesn't really work. You only want to tween symbols. So when I make sure that I have my, you know, my groups are red, so I'm, it's very clear to me that I don't accidentally uh, move forward with those and try to tween those as though they're symbols or something. So, uh, okay, let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so I've got this. I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to rotate it. And now I have all these three. Now I, make, I can align them to each other. There we go. And now I'm spot on. So I can now collapse this. All right. So uh, I'm going to take these two guys and group them together. And this is now its own thing. Okay, so uh, there's my little joint widget. So what I'm going to do now, let's see. I'm going to keep that sort of its own thing. I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to... I'm going to start building the legs, which seems like a weird place to start, but I already know what my character is going to look like, and I'm thinking, remember, I'm always going to think in terms of building anything, any part that's going to have its own movement will be on its own layer. So I'll start with the legs, because that's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. And so uh, I'm going to take this little joint widget, and I'm going to copy it, and paste it here. And it doesn't matter where I do it on the stage, that's right smack in the middle, which is actually probably good. And I'm going to Zoom in a little bit, and let's see here. Like maybe a little bit bigger, you know, like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. Let's try this. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and the whole thing, and then I'm going to scale it down slightly to like where the knee would be. And I'm going to scale it down once more, and duplicate it, and make that for the foot. And so these three, uh, I think these are three joints. This will be my hip, my knee, and my ankle for practical purposes. I don't need my line anymore. So um, I'm going to now take these three things. I'm going to duplicate them just to the side. And I'm going to delete this one and, oops, and delete this one. And so now this will be my upper leg and this will be my lower leg. So uh, I'm going to now. I start. I can start symbolizing these things now. So I'm just like these two things and convert them to a symbol. And uh, this is my upper leg. And it's really important that you make it a graphic and not a movie clip. Uh, you're going to do character animation. You're going to be tweening things. You want to always, always, always have them be graphics, graphic symbols. Your registration may be up here in the top left. I have mine in the center from before. It doesn't matter in this case. I'm going to change the registration anyways, but uh, it's, there's no harm in having it in the middle for now. And you always want to make sure you label your symbols as you go, or else you'll just have a library full of things called symbol 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you're not going to know what's going on. So it helps to kind of be tidy as you're moving forward. So let's go ahead and say OK. And now I have a uh, upper leg symbol in my library, but it's not done. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to uh, inside of the symbol now. And I'm going to do a couple things. Uh, I don't want my crosshairs to be visible. So I'm going to select these and these, and I'm going to distribute them to uh, their own layer. And now they're behind everything. But if I see, there's one, there, there's the other one. So these are my two guides. And I'm going to bring them on top. And they can actually be on the same layer, as far as I'm concerned. So I can merge these together and right click that. I can call these guides. I'm going to actually right click on this and make it a guide layer. And when it has a T square next to it, that just means uh, it's visible in the symbol. And as soon as you uh, go out of the symbol, it does not render. Or if you're on the main stage layer, it just won't render whenever you uh, output. 
but it's handy for a visual. So those are now okay. Uh, let's see. These guys, I can now split these into their own layers. And this one will be, this is my knee. This is my thigh, or my hip, I guess. And I'm gonna actually visually put the hip higher than the knee, if that would make sense. And I got an empty layer here now. I'm gonna just draw a box that connects these two. So I have sort of like, you know, I guess that'd be the thigh, right? So let me go here and I'm going to stroke and I'm just put my snapping still on the other thing. So really like that. And then I can zoom in on this and I want to put this all on outline mode. And then I want to make sure that these all are snapping to where they should go. Just lock all this other stuff down. Okay, and now pretty good. So there's a leg, it's built. And um, I need to do the same thing for the leg. And I'll just do that and kind of blast through it. So it's okay. So my upper leg and my lower leg are built. I'm gonna align them now. So I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna actually I'm gonna unguide I'm gonna unguide this layer. I'm gonna do the same thing on this guy. Unguide it for a moment. I'm gonna drop back up here to the main stage here. And I need to set my pivot point. So I'm gonna select my uh, upper leg here and I'm gonna zoom in on a little bit. Actually, both of these are on the same layer, I think. Two layers. Two symbols on the same layer. This is going to be problematic when it comes down to animate. So I'm going to select them both and distribute to layer. And now they're separate. Okay. So now I need to set the alignment and register them to one another. So I have my free transform tool set on my upper leg. I'm going to turn off. Well, let's see what happens here. I'm going to free transform and I'm going to take my pivot point here. I'm going to snap it to. It's pretty good. It'd be better. Let's see if I can snap it right to the middle. I have. Oh, I have Alignment is on, or snapping is on, and it's not really helping me, so I'm disable it. I can actually put that right where I need to be. There, okay. And then I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to do the same thing for this guy. Uh, set that pivot point right there on that. So here's why this is uh, important. If I go now and align these to each other, and make sure that they're Spot on as much as possible. Okay, so now I have this going on. Let me make these visible. And I'm going to go in here and actually guide out these so that they. Aren't visible. Okay, so I've got a leg here and it, look, this is the reason why I built that around this little gizmo is now when I rotate this leg. I get pretty close to a seamless bend. It's a little bit off there, but you know, at 400%, I don't know if it's going to be. Let's try that. But I get a seamless bend out of this, meaning no matter where I bend it, I don't get a gap or a break because there's always some material, you know, in the upper leg behind it. Uh, by contrast, hmm. Straighten this out again. Um, okay, so in contrast, what if I, you know, what if it, I built it without a this little circle gizmo, like you know, on this leg here? Uh, these two, they look like they are. Where is that leg? It looks pretty good. But as soon as I, I bend it, uh, there's a 
yeah, like this one doesn't have the circles. It's just two flat, you know, butt joints there. And it seems like then that I get a break in the joint, and then I have a gap, and I have to patch that in somehow. So, and that that could be problematic. So that's why it's really handy to have. You can see it here now how this is built. So it's handy to have these sort of joints that are overlapping the circles. Anyone doing need that? I need to add this paw in here. So let me go ahead and do that um, last. Get back into this lower leg. I'm gonna make a new layer paw, and I'm gonna lock everything else so that I don't accidentally draw on it. And get an oval and no stroke. I want like this. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Maybe like well, that was good. And I want this actually to be its own. I'm gonna use this as its own thing later on, like if animate it separately. So I'm gonna symbolize it right away. Call this paw. And it's like you can have symbols nested within symbols, right? And then I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna just create a new layer, and I'm going to create the little claws. So these are just lines. Look like this. And they have a little bit of a profile on them, so I'm going to select them both. And I'm going to I don't get to I'm going to change the profile to it's like thick and thin and super tiny. So let's make it like one. Or two, and then we get a little bend. Oh, there's my paw. All right, let me get that a little bigger. Three. Okay. So I got a I got a leg built already. So uh, in this case, I also have the hands built, the arms and the legs, because they're identical. They're all the same thing. The arms are just a little bit smaller. So that's already good to go. So I just need to build like the head and the body, and we'll do that next.